Hi everyone, Jason here with another Tinkercad tutorial and in this one we're looking at how to create one of the projects from my new book, taking Tinkercad to the next level where you can learn advanced 3D design tools and techniques for creating your own products and creations using Tinkercad and 3D printing. Now what we're looking at here is how to create custom 3D text warps. So what I mean is I have this odd 3D shape which has some curvature to it and I'd like my text to kind of follow along the front of this curve and you can see I have the basic text shape here and in my book we look at some of the text shape generators but none of them will really let you follow along this curve perfectly. You could also of course use the individual text characters so for example, take one character at a time and maybe use the cruise tool to individually lay the letters along the front of your shape one at a time. And that's a little tedious to be completely honest. So what if we wanted to just cut our text to warp around any custom shape, whether it be a curvy wall like this or a sphere or whatever it might be? Well, we can do this through constructive solid geometry. So after having our text and after having the shape that we're going to kind of curve our text around, I'm just going to move this shape out of the way, we're going to essentially turn our text into a stencil. So I'm going to make the text significantly wider like this, and we can create it uh, as a whole, as a whole shape, right? Then we're going to bring in another shape that we can cut to create our stencil or kind of think of it like a, a die cutter of some kind. I'm going to bring in a box. And I'm going to make this box not as wide or as deep as my text, but I am going to make it cover the text in every other dimension. So that way the text will essentially cut straight through this box, right? So I can select my box, I can select my text, and I can group them. And now I have this, this kind of awesome cookie cutter type idea. Then what we can do, is we're going to make this box a hole, right? And I'm going to make a copy of this curvy wall, like so. And I'm going to bring the curvy wall so that way it's fully encased in my box. So the curvy wall is completely within my box cutter. And when I group the curvy wall with the box cutter, you will see that the curvy wall will actually be turned into curvy text. Pretty awesome, right? So now I have this curvy text, which honestly looks pretty great and could just be the project on its own. But this curvy text, if I change the color here, you'll note, will now actually follow perfectly along with the curvature of the wall because of course it was cut out of the wall. So we essentially were able to create a cookie cutter of some kind that can cut the text shape to transform along the surface of the wall to give me this really cool 3D text feature. And the skills that we're covering here as discussed in the book can be used to create a lot of different types of 3D features, essentially turning any shape to transform along any other shape. Uh, really cool techniques to play along with. Thanks for watching. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe and find more tutorials and guides on my YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out this book if you want to learn more about advanced Tinkercad modeling skills and 3D printing.